Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Camp Kaiju Monster Movie Talk. Last week, we talked about King Kong. This week, we're talking about its immediate sequel, Son of Kong, which um, is really heavy on the camp, folks. So let's get to it. We're going to talk about what I really loved about it, what I found a little challenging, and I really want to get to that campiness. So just real quick, um, I saw this movie, I didn't even know it existed, really, and I saw it and I thought, wow, I have zero expectations for this movie. So the bar was really low, maybe that's why it exceeded it so greatly for me. And um, I want to acknowledge that, <laughs> like, you know, with Godzilla vs. Kong, almost every nerd website was coming out with their, their definitive rankings of all the Kong movies. Son of Kong always seems to fall in the middle to the end of the pack. Um, I, I would I would I would dare to say it is it deserves a little space a little closer to the front. Um, yes, it was rushed into production uh, like eight months after the first one was released. Yes, the tone is completely different. It plays much more like a comedy, like a light adventure. And to that, I do want to say, I think that was purposeful. I do. I think the creators recognized, because these were smart dudes, they said, you know what? There's no way we're going to recreate uh, the first one. So let's do something different. Let's go in a completely different um, lane. And they stayed in that lane, and they cruised. And they pulled it off. Um, I will say that... Um, I would have maybe appreciated just a little bit more of a sense of danger on Skull Island specifically. I think if there's one place to um, ground yourself in a King Kong movie, it's with the danger that's always lurking on Skull Island. But be that as it may, like that movie, eh, you take what you get. Um, as far as characters go, they're all back. Denim's back, Anglehorn is back. And Charlie the freaking cook is back. My man Victor Wong with his meat cleaver. He's he, and now he's like even bigger. He's part of the he's part of the the trio. Um, he's great. He's got more lines. Um, I, I just love Charlie the cook. Um, the female actor who plays Hildy, I also um, do want to call out. Um, not to I mean yeah to compare her to Faye Ray's character in the first one. She is total opposite. She's brunette. She is grounded, she's tough as nails. And her drive to like seek vengeance on the man who killed her father, I think that actually is the, the grounded core that this movie um, needs, essentially. And they have it with her. Wonderful um, character and portrayal. Um, how much time? Did I, okay, oh, I'm good. Um, <laughs> because I wanna get to the campiness. Um, yeah, let's talk about that little monkey band. I was like, what? But you know, it was so bonkers, it worked. How could you not love it? I loved it. Um, it went on a little too long and it was perfect. Um, and in, the, in, in my King Kong video, I alluded to the fact that you know, the, the writers at RKO, and they're like, we're gonna have our, our gorilla climb the top of the Empire State Building. And I, my question at that end of the video was, can they top that? Well, they didn't top it. They went under it. They, uh, this is a huge spoiler alert. So seriously, stop watching. Go watch Son of Kong if you haven't seen it. But if you want to go forward, I'm going to tell you. The island sinks into the ocean with the Son of Kong saving Denim in one fist, climbing the top of like the tallest peak on the island as he sinks Terminator style into the ocean. He doesn't thumbs up. In fact, he takes Denim and like places him on a boat. Uh, and it's literally the end of the picture. Like credits roll. Oh. <laughs> it was, it still is so insane. Um, absolutely re remarkable. An amazing cinematic feat. <laughs> So go watch Son of Kong, go watch King Kong first. They flow right into each other. It's a perfect, um, perfect, perfect duology, if you will. So um, 
just a bit of housekeeping. I want to say that uh, this has been a really great first few uh, video reviews here. Um, in the month of May, I'm going to switch gears a little bit. I'm going to venture into more contemporary monster, strange beast, kaiju fair. Um, and I want to say I'm going to be watching and reviewing Ricky O, The Story of Ricky, a 1991 cult classic from Hong Kong. I'm going to be watching a movie called Colossal from 2016, I believe. I haven't heard of it, but it looks really good. And The Host, another cult classic from 2006 out of uh, South Korea. And uh, a new movie I hadn't heard of called Underwater from 2020. So I'm gonna watch those four. If you wanna check them out too, um, it'd be cool to like, you know, engage um, with you on what you might think. But again, thanks to everybody for, uh, for sticking with me here and I'll see you next time.